I'm an insect photographer, and what I have here is a, a photograph that makes me think about the tedium of scientific research, because each of these ants had to be painted, and they're usually painted by an undergraduate who had to sit there with a little tiny wire and little daubs of paint and actually paint each individual ant in a colony. And these are not large ants. These are tiny. This is Temnothorax rugatulus, and they're about three millimeters long. So whenever I see this painting, I kind of, or this 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 uh, this photograph, I, I kind of smile and I think, you know, some some poor kid had to paint all all those ants. So this was a research colony. Uh, it's 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 a colony in Anna Dornhaus's lab at the University of Arizona. And they were interested in the division of labor in the colony, so each ant had to be uh, color-coded so they could keep track of her activities. And they were going to try to find out you know, how the different ants were dividing up the tasks. Interestingly, what it turned out was that most of the time, most of the ants did very little. <laughs> and uh, just a few ants were doing a lot of the tasks. So that, that's, uh, I think, what, what they discovered with this, uh, uh, with this particular colony.